Napkin Nate was a prominent Roblox YouTuber who had reached over 900,000 subscribers. Once he was very well known in the community with everyone watching his content, and now after years of inactivity and after his abrupt disappearance, many people are wondering what has happened to him. Did he die? Was he arrested? Did he stalk his once close friend Gooby? Well, everything will be covered in this video, so sit back, relax, and today we will go over the disappearance of Napkin Nate. Napkin Nate basically started his channel on November the 30th, 2014, with his first publicly accessible video being Roblox Apocalypse Rising Gameplay, uploaded on February the 19th, 2015. He would continue to make consistent Apocalypse Rising content, even streaming the game every Saturday night. This would be followed by content he would make on other games such as Unturned, Halo 5, and much more. However, his channel at the time mainly just posted Apocalypse Rising content. However, by the end of 2016, he had over 12,000 subscribers. And moving on to the next year being 2017, he made a Q&A video basically responding to someone's comment and asking him how did he and Gooby basically meet and become friends, with Napkin Nate stating how they actually became friends before he even made YouTube content and they had originally met up on an Apocalypse Rising game. Here's a clip. So I met Gooby a long time ago before I started YouTube and this is the story how I remember it. Uh, we were in, we were actually playing Apocalypse Rising and I was in a warehouse and I think he was like hatching the walls and me and my friend, this is when we were little noobs, so we were scared like what is this, who is this person? And then I think Gooby was typing in group chat. Uh, it's me, but uh... Yeah, that's how I met Gooby. We met on APOC. 2017 continued to progress and Jailbreak came out, in which would be the game that solidified Napkin Nate's position as one of the biggest Roblox YouTubers of his time. His first video on the game was simply titled Jailbreak and was made on April the 22nd when Jailbreak was in its beta. However, as the game continued to get more popularity, so did his channel. And by May 2017, he reached over 43,000 subscribers and he continued to consistently upload engaging content aided by his friend at the time called Gooby. By 2018, he continued to make jailbreak content collaborating with Gooby, and because people found their videos entertaining and funny, he continued to grow, amassing over 220,000 subscribers by the start of the year, and ending 2018 off by being invited to join the Roblox Star Creator Program, in which was a program in which allowed some of the most prestigious Roblox users to basically join. Now, by early 2019, he amassed over 500,000 subscribers and continued to make videos with his friend Gooby, and also also delved into some Mad City content and Murder Mystery 2 content. The last video he did with Gooby was in December of 2019 after a long time of Gooby's absence on Nate's channel, with many people stating in the comments they were glad to see Gooby back. But little did they know what was to come and the secret dark side of Gooby. So today guys, we're gonna be doing some Tesla Roadster Madness in Jailbreak. And as you guys can see, Gooby is back for this video. So if you're hyped for that, go ahead and leave a like on the video and let's go ahead and start the madness. However, for 2020 rolled around and the pandemic started, and Napkin Nate's content started to slow down dramatically. However, jailbreak content still continued along with Mad City content. The pandemic basically made it very difficult for Napkin Nate to essentially move house too. He specified in a video on June 2020 about the house moving situation, so here is a clip of that. If you're wondering why I haven't uploaded a video in almost two months, that's because I'm in the process of moving houses right now, and that's what's taking a while. But once I've done that, upload should be back to normal. It was with this situation combined with other certain situations in which eventually led to Nate's disappearance from YouTube and his downfall. So we will go over the plethora of other factors which eventually led to this. Another situation was Gooby, who was someone who had associated with Napkin Nate for a large course of his channel's history. Now from archives which I found in old YouTube videos, it seems the drama between Gooby and Nate started when Nate posted a Spongebob meme in the Discord server. However, we are unaware of the above context of why this was posted in the Discord conversation. But what we do know, however, is that Gooby responded to Nate by claiming, all right, I'm done, bro. He's definitely Ooh. stalking me. And then he proceeds to ban Napkin Nate from the server and then make a public post on the server stating, I removed Nate from my life. I don't want any more of his stalking or abuse. Gooby had also made it clear two years later in 2022 that another reason he broke ties with Napkin Nate was because Nate apparently stopped paying him too. However, no proof was actually ever provided of this claim. Now, anyway, back to 2020, 
20, however, many of Gooby's associates were actually consistently attacking and harassing Nate over a well-formulated and structured lie literally made by Gooby himself. They were threatening to literally raid his server, and Gooby was literally mass banning all of Nat's associates. Because you see, Gooby isn't an angel in this situation whatsoever. If anything, he's one of the most prolific Roblox predators in known existence. He had formulated a lie claiming that Nat Kinney had stalked him and abused him, despite claiming in another video that they literally had never met in real life before, after apparently Nate claimed that Gooby installed cameras in his house. And literally in another instance in a YouTube description that Gooby had made in response to allegations of him literally being a predator, he ends off the massive paragraph by stating, I hope Nat Kinney is doing well because he was a good friend of mine even if we split up. If Nate had literally abused Gooby, it wouldn't make sense for Gooby to contradict his prior statements and now call Nate a good friend while completely obfuscating his aforementioned claims of Nate apparently stalking and abusing him. But we'll go over all the dark things behind our little friend Gooby later on in this video. It was just insane though for Gooby to lie this publicly and be getting away with it for as long as he did. He literally severely damaged Nate's career in the time of his absence. Another factor for Nate's disappearance was because by September of 2020, a month after his last upload on August, Nate would be in drama for not paying a UGC designer for basically making a siren head accessory for him. The screenshots go as follows. Seriously, the person who makes it states, Hello! And then Napkin Nate states, Hi, I want to upload a spin-off of Siren Head to the UGC catalog, but Siren Head is copyrighted, so it'd have to be changed quite a bit. And then shows an image of it and states, My friend made me a prototype of it, but he had to go. However, this was followed by Napkin Nate then, after gaining the accessory, airing the person who made it, and the person who made it states, You there? So, guess not? Dude, we had a deal, can you at least respond? The frick is the point of ghosting me like that. And then shows a final message of them stating, You know, I would at least appreciate some closure instead of running away with the hat like that. And then obviously their message didn't go through because they were either blocked or they were unfriended, which was kind of a scummy thing for Nate to do. However, Nate's response to the whole situation after it blew up and he was getting a lot of backlash was, I decided not wanting to go through with uploading the hat due to copyright issues. I'm still in communication with everyone who made me a hat and I'm going to pay all of them for the time they spent making it. And then put in brackets, I cleared my Discord friend list, I didn't block him. Now his response to the situation wasn't well received because he had multiple instances to basically respond to the UGC designer, which he quite literally hired to make the asset for him and which they eventually did. And it was seeming as if he made a deeper hole for himself in this situation because why would he literally clear this person from his friends list after he literally completely aired them over the course of like a week? It was also at this time that Napkinate was also suffering through some very personal issues as well, in which could have possibly affected his mental health and led to his subsequent inactivity from the internet too. But the drama doesn't stop here. Napkin Nate had made a Roblox group shout about an upcoming winter update video in Jailbreak as of late 2020 in December, which literally never came to pass. And this is likely due to all the aforementioned factors. Gooby's lie and harassment campaign against him, the UGC scam controversy, and his own deteriorating mental health all acted simultaneously and worked in tandem to basically hinder his ability to create any content any further. And the last documented post he made too was two Discord messages as of mid-2021 in a public Roblox jailbreak Discord server. However, remember Gooby? Well, because as 2020 continued, Gooby was still siphoning Napkin Nate's supporters and actively gaining children to go into his decrepit anime Discord servers. These servers allowed doctors and CP possessors and openly allowed the facilitation of that disgusting illegal content on multiple occasions. Gooby would also make posts about the S3 extra appeal of dolphins and make comments trying to legitimize P3 Dephilia and child <coughs> exploitation. He also tried to legitimize lot <coughs> possessed multiple <coughs> nodes of people in the server, made comments about people R-wording their sisters, or made comments about young girls once again. He also once again possessed more images of young children and allegedly pushed a minor to suicide with proof being proliferated of this on the internet proving that this could have quite literally happened. And believe me when I say that what I mentioned is just the tip of the iceberg. This man, Gooby, is on my bucket levels of degeneracy, and I will make a separate video going over the plethora of vile acts he has done, because this person cannot be allowed to get away with what he's done. It is disgusting. But anyway, because Napkin 8 was pretty much absent and didn't have a platform at the time to defend himself, and because of a legal issue that had transpired in his household, Gooby at the time in 2021 shared information to his friends who then spread the news that Napkin 8 was allegedly taken into police custody and had a mugshot taken of him for alleged domestic violence against a family.
family member with his bond set to $500. Obviously, after the news came out, it spread like wildfire around the community. However, misinformation and speculation took over, and people were misinformed that Nat Kinate abused his girlfriend and was arrested for that. And other lies were also being purported to further muddy the waters about the situation. However, it was speculated that the family member involved could have been Nate's mother instead, with some people claiming that Nate was simply defending himself against her since she was apparently intoxicated. However, this claim cannot be proven, so hopefully this video clears up the lies spread by Gooby and his goons. Although Napkin Nate did get taken into police custody for DV, which in brackets means domestic violence, there was no proof that he ever abused his girlfriend because that was completely untrue. And Gooby latched onto this situation to try and interject his lies in to try and victimize himself and further damage and taint and Nate's credibility. And according to sources, Napkin Nate is doing well with his life right now and is not in jail nor is he dead. And he came back sometime this year on Discord to basically change his Discord username to remove the tags, but apart from that, everything else for Napkin Nate's story remains secretive and unknown and it seems to have ended now. But what hasn't ended, however, is Gooby's degeneracy as he is the most disgusting vile predator in Roblox history and people in the Roblox community still defend his actions to this day. Gooby has privated his Twitter account, but that literally will not save him for what's coming. A storm is approaching, a storm of justice is approaching, because Gooby cannot be getting away with what he's done. However, thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and comment napkin if you've made it this far to the video. Obviously, this video is not intended for hate, harassment, cyberbullying or anything like that. This is just an educational video going over the entire situation as a whole and acting as a documentary video going over the rise and fall of napkin Nate. And also watch my other videos too and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.